I have here a round coffee side table. It is a very common item in people's homes. The trouble is, after a few years of use, this is what happens. The leg, it's come off and the simple reason why it's come off is because there is a timber screw here and over time the hole has got bigger. So join me in this video as I use timber dowels. This is an 8mm diameter dowel. These two are 6mm diameter dowels. I will lightly use the 8mm dowel to fit into the hole and apply wood glue. And then I'll drill a hole to fix this timber screw into the timber dowel. Join me in this video as I repair this coffee side table. Three-legged coffee side tables are very common. They're okay for a while, but over time, when they get moved around, sliding one or more of the leg fixings will become faulty. In the case of this side table, this leg here, you can see, I can just pull it out. There's a timber screw, but over time, the hole has got bigger and bigger. So much so that that screw thread doesn't hold anymore. And this is typical of coffee side tables of this sort of design. This is a weak point in the design. But it is a waste to throw the side table away because it is an easy fix. In this video, I will show you how I repair this. I have a choice of using an 8mm timber dowel or 6mm timber dowels to slot into the hole. I will choose the 8mm timber dowel. The first thing I'll do is measure how deep that hole is. So I have here a vernier caliper. If I push the end out, that will allow me to slot this into the hole and measure how deep that hole is. So push the body in, pull it out. That's how deep the hole is. Look at the reading, that is about 22 millimeters. So the depth of the hole is about 22 millimeters. I will now mark out the 22 millimeter depth on this timber dowel. So this is to be cut away. So this portion that is shaded is to be cut away. I've clamped the dowel. I'll just hacksaw away the length I don't want. That's the length I want, but I will still have to taper the deeper end because the diameter at the deeper end is smaller. This is a sanding belt. I will use this sanding belt to sand down the deeper edge of the dowel. That's what it looks like so far. I think the tip is small enough. Just do a test fit. Yes, that looks good. This is a bottle of Seekerborn PVA wood working glue for interior and exterior use. I'll just use a stick to get some glue and apply that glue to the inside. I think that's more than enough. And then I'll apply some glue on this dowel as well. I'll stand it up so it can dry. There's no glue in that hole. I'll let it dry as well. I'll let them dry a little bit till they are tacky. I've given that dowel light taps with the hammer so that it's completely now flush with the surface. And I'll leave it to dry for a few hours. This is a 6mm drill bit. I've marked with a white masking tape a length of 22 millimeters, which is the depth of the hole I measured. I've just clamped this leg down and I will drill through the center, holding it as level as possible. That's it. Now it's time to test fit the hole with the screw. I may need to drill it out a little bit more but we'll start with 6 millimeter hole. It's working well. It looks like it's secure. That's good. Well that was a simple repair. This is the leg that got repaired. Pretty good now. I do hope you found this video useful and interesting. Do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more and help the channel grow. Thank you so much.